Hello and welcome to Thait. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about tooltips which is visual header tooltips in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. Tooltip is an inbuilt feature in the Microsoft uh, in, from the beginning itself. You might have already known about it. Say for example, if I move my cursor to any of these objects, any of this menu, it gives you short information about this. Example that if I move my cursor to transform data, it shows me that use the Power Query editor to connect, prepare and transform data. If I move my cursor to refresh, it gives refresh. If I move my cursor to new visual, it says add a visual to your report. Add a text box to your report. Add Power BI Visual from Add Source or from your file. Like this kind of information is called tooltips. In Power BI also, for the visuals, they have given two kinds of uh, tooltips. One is inside the visual and one is the visual header tooltips. We'll go one by one on those things. First of all, you need to create a page. In this example, what I have made is um, the quantity is based on the shelf and inside the shelf how many bins are there with the quantity the stock quantity Okay, I have made a page on that product quantity. It is a column chart and The first of all thing I made the format type and then page information I have turned on this one tooltip and Then on the page size I have changed this type to tooltip instead of 16 is to 9 Okay, once I have done all those things with the graph, now oh, coming back to this one, page one, I made this one area chart. And in that, if you go to this format option, there is option called the tooltip. In the tooltip, you need to select the report page. Once you select the report page, it will load all the Full table report pages available. In that, I have selected this one product quantity and the tool table information and coloring. If you want, you can add it here. Once you have done this one, once you have selected this one page, you go to this field tab, the tool table will select this one product quantity. That's it. If you move your cursor to any of this area of point data points. Say for example, this J shell is 12.2 thousands are there, stock quantities are there. Out of that, there are 9 bins are there. Each bin has this kind of quantity. You can see it on this visual itself. If we go to this one, Y cursor, Y data point, Y shell, it has a 2 bins. One is 209 stock and second bin has 228 quantity. If you move your to further, or this one 40, it has more than 50 bins are there inside that one. So, this is short quick information about this stock by shelf and stock by bin. This cool, right? So, this is the use of this one tool tip. You can even use this example like uh, you will get the attendance of each and every employee. If I click on any if you move your cursor to any of your employee, it gives the employee profile on this tool tip with their image and all. This is just an example how you can use this on tool tips in your real time scenarios. Now, the next one. Now, I have created one more page like tool tip. Inside that, I have added a GIF background. If you go to this format option, page information, and then page background. You will see this one, there is a GIF file, tooltip, tooltip.gif and transfer is 14 and color is none and in that image, fit is called fill, normal, fit and fill. You can have three options on there and I use this one fill option so it covers all the page in this visual. Even though it has a gap between top and bottom, it's not an issue. I just need to, to cover all the complete page 
if you look at this one icon you will see this one click on that it gives you just help right for that first of all you need to go to format tab and then visual headers if you go further down further down further down it gives you one visual header tooltip icon by default it will be turned off you need to turn it on once you turn on you will get another option visual header tooltip expand that one and it is asking for report page by default it will be none you need to select the report page this one tooltip i am selecting now if it is a text help you can just type it here and then colors text size font background transparency and all in this example i am selecting this tooltip and then if i move my cursor to here it gives an example for the user end users how we can use this visual and what are the information they can extract from this visual this is kind of storytelling that you can't have, you don't need to explain the users these are all the information available inside this visual so just click on this question mark you can easily understand what is the information available inside this visual super cool right so these are the two benefits of this tooltip and visual header tooltip i hope you enjoyed this video and if you learned something new if you really like this video please click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices if you have any queries and feedback please also post it on the comment section below share it with your friends and colleagues thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video